All right, Doggies fans, welcome to a little pre-season update of what's going on down here at the Central Districts Footy Club on Inside the Kennel. Uh, we've got very special guests with me. We've got uh, the coach, Jeff Andrews. Jeff, uh, thanks for joining me, mates. We obviously caught up, um, I think, a day or two after you took the job with Centrals. Uh, mate, since then, it's been, uh, what, coming up four months now. How have you found the job and, and how's everything been going? Yeah, look, we're yeah, three and a half months, I think we are, naughty, and uh, so far, so good. We've uh, had a really good, solid block of uh, pre-season before Christmas and then post-Christmas, and, and the boys, are, they're fit. They're, uh, they're st they've got a good understanding of how we want to play. Training's been really competitive. Um, the rehab group's getting smaller all the time. The boys are getting leaner, so yeah, happy. The coaches are all um, across you know, what, we, what we need to do. They're giving the boys plenty of good feedback, so, so far, so good. With that as well, we've got a few, uh, few characters obviously down here at the Doggies as well. As you would have worked out now, there's about five of them are trying to put us off as we uh, film this Joff. But uh, with that as well, pre-season camp to Victor Harbour, uh, probably really important for the group and come out, uh, come out with a win there uh, in terms of bonding and, and connection. Yeah, look, it was naughty. We, uh, the boys, when I sort of flagged the, the camp as an idea, they said they hadn't been on a, on a camp for six or seven years and they were all really really excited to, to give it a go. So we, uh, we went down to Victor Harbour, we played uh, some games, some, some footy uh, match play on, on the Friday night, albeit in torrential, uh, torrential rain, which was pretty tough conditions. And then, uh, then we did plenty of activities where we got them out of their com comfort zone. They didn't have their phones for the weekend, so they had to interact and, uh, and get to know each other. And uh, all in all, the feedback and, uh, and, and our summation of how the camp went, it, was real, it, was, uh, it achieved everything we wanted to and, uh, and was a really, uh, really rewarding. Yeah, it was absolutely fantastic weekend. Uh, the clothes are still wet, I think, uh, from that Friday night session. But uh, with that now, Joff, obviously, we're, we're, I think we're four weeks away from playing our first trial game. So, so what's the preparation here and, and what can the doggy supporters uh, start to see as we, we get into those trials? Yeah, look, we, we've got our, our schedule now where, we, where Monday and Wednesday we're, we're doing a lot of uh, skill and, and sort of break the game down into, into the little parts and then Fridays we're playing our games. So we're doing our match sim Friday night so we've got another three weeks of, of match sim and we'll just build up the minutes that the players are doing. Um, the intensity, there's no worries with the intensity, they're, they're all having a red hot crack. Uh, four weeks time we'll play an intra-club game and then that, that leads us into, we change our training nights the following week as we lead into our first trial game against Sturt on uh, March the 14th. So looking forward to all the doggies getting down here for that and, and our three trial games uh, which are all at home. So uh, yeah, we'll just keep building up the match sim and, and, the, uh, and the intensity. They've got plenty of K's in their legs now so now it's all about the speed. Well, I think that's one thing that um, certainly the doggy supporters that get down to have a look at training uh, and, and we see it firsthand is the boys are all looking in pretty good nick, Joff. Yeah, they are. They are. There's, there's, there's been a lot that have dropped uh, quite a few skinfold numbers, so that they've come down and, and there's, uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of AFL-type physiques running around out there. The boys are really lean, they're fit, they're the fittest they've been. So, so far, it doesn't equate to a win yet, but it, uh, it holds us in good stead. We talk about AFL physique, uh, physiques. Uh, we've got probably the, one of the biggest signings uh, in the Sandful for 2020 in uh, Daniel Menzel coming back to, to play for us. Uh, must have been. Did you when you took the job? Was there an inkling that he might be coming back? Not really. There was. There was. Um, obviously, we had our fingers crossed for Dan that he'd get back into the AFL system, but our fingers crossed for Centrals that he'd be here and be part of it. So, it was. I, I didn't really have my head across it when I. Uh, I think when I'd started here, the, the draft hadn't even occurred yet, so he was still a chance to be picked up somewhere. So, um, yeah. So like when when he became available and, and the, the news was that he was. Uh, he was coming to play here. We, Dan, Dan and I met before uh, just to have a chat and, and see how we got on. And uh, yeah, look, I couldn't have been happier, mate. I, I couldn't wipe the smile off my face for a couple of weeks, I must tell you. <laughs> and, and touching on Dan as well, obviously uh, for doggy supporters, we're catching up with him and Troy as well. For him to be able to come and play with his brother, the boys haven't played a game together. Um, and just the leadership that he's brought to the, to the group, he, he's been a fantastic part. Yeah, look, he's um, unfortunately with the injury uh, history that he's had, he's had to you know, develop really good habits to get back to playing in terms of his preparation, pre-training, post-training, and uh, he hasn't walked in the, in the door and, and left those where, where he came from. He's, he's brought them with him. And so our players are seeing how uh, an elite AFL footballer prepares. And uh, to be fair, it's starting to rub off. Our players are asking questions of Dan, and he's more than happy to impart his knowledge. And there's a lot, of, lot more of our players doing those extra little one percenters that are, that are no doubt going to help them um, prepare for games and, and become better footballers in time. 
Mate, it's excellent, and we've got a, a nice little event coming up where all the, the members and that can get down here as well uh, in a couple of weeks to meet the coach. Yeah, look, I think it's uh, February the, the 26th. We've got a, a meet the coach night uh, down here, so we'll have a, a training night that night. We'll put on uh, some match play for the supporters, members to come down and have a look at the boys uh, slogging it out. Uh, in some match play and I just encourage all members and, and uh, supporters get down here that night we'll be uh, yeah, meeting all of you guys and uh, you know anybody that wants an autograph from the players please come down and uh, come down and say hello. Nah, absolutely said it beautifully Jeff not much more I've got to say uh, get down here doggy supporters there and then get down and support the boys in the trial match uh, as well you've got uh, the women starting this week as well so make sure we get down and, and follow their journey as well they've got a, a very good side Joff and uh, won't be able to go all the way this year, I reckon. Fingers crossed I'll be here Saturday, so you never know. No worries. All right, stick around, Doggies fans. We're catching up with the Menzel boys. Dogs fans, very exciting. Probably the most exciting combination that the, everyone's looking forward to this year. We've got Daniel Menzel and Troy Menzel uh, with us tonight. Uh, Daniel, we'll start with yourself, mate. Uh, coming from uh, you know, a long AFL career as well uh, that was... You know, been well documented with uh, knee recos after knee recos and ACLs and whatnot. Um, to get back to your local club, obviously disappointing not to be on an AFL lift, a list, but to get back to the doggies, um, it must be exciting to play alongside your brother. Yeah, it is. It's been uh, 10 years since I've been back here, which it's a long time. It's, um, there's a lot of the same people still around, which is quite amazing. But um, no, it's familiar for me. I think um, it's been 10 years since I've been in Adelaide, really. So it's nice to be back home. and. Um, to be back playing at Centrals and obviously alongside Troy, but um, yeah, there's still a lot of familiar faces around players as well, which is nice. So um, yeah, really looking forward to it. And when it was uh, going to be time to come back to the Sandful, there was only one club for you? Yeah, I mean, um, when it sort of was obvious to me that it wasn't going to be AFL this year, that um, Centrals was the obvious choice. I mean, Grani was... Um, on the phone to me the next day, so it didn't take him long to, um, I was still trying to get over it, I thought I might let this one go to message bank, but um, front foot I like it, and yeah, straight away I knew if I was playing in the SNFL, it was always going to be Central Districts. And Troy, to have your brother uh, to play alongside for you this year uh, at league footy, at league level, uh, must be exciting as well. Yeah, absolutely, it's, um, it is really exciting, we've never played a game of footy um, together, so yeah, to, to run out there, um, I know training together has been, been really good, and um, it's been good to see how we actually work off each other. So, so to pull on the boots together will be, be something um, I think we're both really looking forward to. And, and both in uh, leadership roles, obviously, Daniel, you are uh, coaching the forwards and Troy uh, coming into the vice captaincy alongside Fish this year. Uh, both very vocal on, on, the, on the field and on the, on the training track as well. In the backyard, was there, who used to beat up who? Um, I think we both used to beat up Sam. Um, <laughs> but no, we, we both grew up very, very competitive um, people and I think, I think that's definitely helped us in our journey and, and I, guess, I guess with um, our footy experience that we've had through our journeys, um, I, th I think it's, it's really good for us to be vocal on the track and, and to, to show our knowledge to, to the younger guys because we do have that experience um, at AFL level. And so for the Doggies fans as well, boys, what... What can we expect to see from the, the Menzels? Obviously, uh, spend over your, both of his careers, spend a lot of time forward, but will we see some midfield minutes now with the new coach? Yeah, I think so. I think um, for me, I always um, wanted to play midfield at AFL level and, and give it a try. And obviously injuries have held me back a little bit. So um, yeah, come back here, it's a really good opportunity to do a bit of both and, um, and, and Troy probably do the same thing as well and work off each other. So um, yeah, it's something that I'm really looking forward to developing in my game. and. Um, yeah, hopefully we can sort of just swap with, you, with each other and it, and it work pretty well. You going? Or you're going to go through the ball? Yeah, it's it's, it's definitely the plan, Nida. I played a fair bit through through the midfield last year, so I think we've got that really good mixture of guys who can play forward and and through the middle, where we'll have some really good rotations. Dogs fans, I've hoped you enjoyed that pre-season update with the new head coach, Jeff Andrews, and the Menzel brothers. We've got a lot more new players and new faces to get on the show this year. All your favourite segments from last year, they're all coming back, plus a few new ones as well to keep you up to date with what's going on down here at Doggyland. We can't wait to get into round one and we'll see you for season 2020.